just uh, just decided to come in here and knock the speed bag around for a little bit because I just put the fender back on my bike, getting ready to get those little Grom inspected, get that thing out and running, all legit. And I also put a finishing touch on that stretch station that I built. And uh, well, I'll show you that in a minute. But knock this one out. this what like two years ago something it's fun I just come in here and do this whenever I want now <laughs> Except for someone's face. Oh, that other thing I was talking about. See here. That was the f finishing touches because I was having a problem with up here at the top, right? This part would pick up and the sides would push out. And it would be like a couple of inches that this part would come up here. You know what I mean? Put these here. The whole thing's secure. It doesn't move now. All right, it's kind of complicated to get this whole thing in the picture here, using the phone anyway. It's much easier with a GoPro, but again, what we're looking for here is right here and right here. It, what would happen is they would bend out when I put all my weight up and push them out this way and the middle would come up. Now, they're both steady and I can get my feet up over them better, so that's what you're going to see.
works much better. <laughs> I was actually out here this morning working on this thing, putting the fender back on for inspection. And you know what else I did? I took this strap off. Like I, I looked at under the under part of the seat, and I saw that it's really only bolted in. There's two nuts on either side on here, and there's a piece of metal clamped onto this strap here. And I took it off, but I mean, it doesn't really make any difference in the fact that there's one seat and two seats you know like if you're going to get the bench seat that's that's a completely different design so i mean with or without this strap here you're still sitting on the passenger seat <laughs> you know for the mini moto right but yeah got this thing hooked up light working, tail light, the license plate light, directionals. Yeah, so now that I got the truck fixed, I mean, it is riding great right now. So here's the ramp for the Grom. Throw the Grom up in the back of the truck and bring it in. Let the truck and the bike get inspected at the same time. <laughs> I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to load the 636 up on that thing. Because I'm not about to try to push that up the way I do with this one. And then have it fall off the side of the ramp or something crazy like that. That, that shit's not going to happen. So until I figure out a foolproof way to do it just be riding that wherever I'm going you know but I mean just you know this in particular too I could just throw in the back of the truck you know I can throw anything in the back I mean I got this I got my my small kicker over here that thing is great my short rail just to practice on this thing I can put this thing up on a curb in front of grass on like a field or something and do basically whatever I want on like my roller blades or, or whatever you know, to get the, the technique down until I'm ready to just turn it around and do it on the concrete, you know? I'm just... The truck, man. Should've got a pickup truck a long time ago. I never thought of it. Anyway, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of that soon. so simple to just hop on it and just slap it around, you know. It's satisfying and it recruits many muscle fibers, speed and accuracy.
I love it. <laughs>